Hey, welcome back. All right, forgive me if I cough my way through this because I am recovering from the flu, which has just attacked us this season. I hope you're all feeling well. The flu is horrible. Don't get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zero stars would not recommend. Now, this is the news van, the brand new news van, but there was one in 2014 also called, well, this is called the Heart, oh, hold on. This one was called the Heart Lake news van and the current one is called newsroom van. So this is tiny bit of difference but just look how far the theme has come in a very short amount of time I mean same concept but in very different very different execution but the boxes are still the same size so there's that I never built this set I can't believe it I just I had to pull it out of my little storage box this is so exciting I'll, I'll build it one day but anyway this one is called by the way I need to thank Lego for sending this set to me so much appreciated I love getting presents in the mail so exciting now this is the very first Lego friend set that has got a worker mini doll in it in his fluoro orange vest there's so many good things in here now 446 pieces 53 dollars in australia 30 dollars in the us uh it's much cheaper at kmart go to kmart guys just just do it the sheet the sticker sheet's got awesome oh, like little easter eggs well you know well not Easter eggs, actual things that are happening in Heart Lake this season in the buildings. It's all tying in so nicely. Got two instruction books and yeah, let's have <gasps> an alternate face. I didn't know this set had an alternate face for Aaliyah. All right, we must look at that. So we have got Aaliyah. We've got three, mm, yeah, three characters in this set. Well, four if you count the owl. Aaliyah is wearing a new outfit combo, but not new, if the pieces aren't new. Uh, at all but they're just new put together which is really cute it's like a little yellow dress with the purple over the top but the fact that her pink sandals this is the yellow skirt variation she's also got the blue skirt variation with the same pink sandals I really like that I like that idea but I like even more the fact that she comes with this face which could be construed as any number of expressions I think in this case it's uh, determined or like, you know, ready to tell the news, the break the breaking news of whatever's going on in this set. But you could also use this as quite versatile face. It could be a, I'm about to go and do something that I really shouldn't be faced too. I think you could use it for all sorts of things. <laughs> I like it so much. So good to see variations on a basic smile. So many good expressions happening now in the mini doll world. Now we also have Peter, one of the little toddler twins that we saw in the Unity Street set. He is protesting the tree trees that are being cut down, well the tree that's being cut down that has this owl with a brand new print in it living in the tree and this is his egg in the little brown bowl is in the nest. It's so cute. So he's protesting with his hands that don't hold anything. So he's going to find it very difficult but thankfully Aaliyah is here to help. We've also got Daryl. Daryl is our, I mean, I could say he's a construction worker, but he's not. But he's got the fluoro yellow, it's not even fluoro yellow, workman yellow sh top with the little fluoro bit, no, the reflective bit. But on the, <laughs> I'm really struggling today. He's got a little tree and on the back there's a chainsaw, like the saw, circular saw kind of emblem. Fantastic print on his top. And his face print is also the best face ever. It's the, I'm just here doing my job. I don't know. And he's got stubble and his eyebrows are full of expression a little like oh, I love it I just love his facial expression so much got his red hard hat on he's ready to go but he's being thwarted by these <laughs> by these darn kids okay all right but he's so good but we've also got a buildable chainsaw which he needs obviously but he's not going to be turning this on because he's not cutting this tree down not on my watch not today well not on Peter's watch he's the one doing all of the all of the protesting. So we've got two places here where he can hold it up here, which is a really good balance for him, but he can also hold it down here to kind of get it further up for cutting off those branches. I just love, I love that we have this guy now as a mini doll. I love it so much. All right, our car, oh, hold on. Probably shouldn't put Peter over here on that side of the chainsaw. Let's put him a bit safer over here. Don't hang out near chainsaw blades, kids. Okay, right, so all of our characters we've got, now we've got to build the whole story and I'm loving the story. Oh, can you hear the cat? Nico is absolutely going off in the background. He's not very happy with me. I've locked him out while I'm trying to actually do this. 
It's not happy to be kept away from the owl and the chainsaws for your own safety. And when I say locked out, he's only locked out of this room. He's got the whole rest of the house he could be hanging out in anyway. So we're building a tree. We're building the tree that is, well, I think these little stumps here are previous trees that have been cut down. And my guess is, is that the trees were probably planted too closely together by the look of what we have here with the stumps. So they're too close together for safety. And there's still this one tree left, which is, but it's got the owl nesting in it. So the owl's habitat, very important. Love the yellow construction danger sign fence bit. I love it. I just love the storytelling of these like these small builds in the Lego Friends sets just I absolutely adore them so here's our protest sign well Peter's protest sign so because he can't hold it there's actually a little spot over there where it can be popped on the on the plate and well, which other one did I love with the storytelling as well it was the bus stop which I can't even remember what the actual name of the set was because the main part of it was a Oh yeah, it was the dog grooming thing. No, the dog rescue set. But oh, that's so cool. That egg's got that egg is precariously balanced up there. That is not safe. That is crazy, crazy precarious. I get the little bus stop though with sad pickle in the box in the corner was the best part. Even though the whole the point of the build was the vehicle. Same thing with this one. The point of this build is the actual newsroom van. But I love the storytelling of this little tree and everything that's going on it, <laughs> well, on around it. Even though this tree is. Yeah, okay, so this is really delicately balanced. If you just tip the branch a tiny bit, that egg is going to flip down. But the point is, is the, yeah, that's the branch that's going to be chainsawed. Okay, so, but Aaliyah is here. Goodness me, Aaliyah is here with her, <laughs> this rhyming, is here with her camera, with her newsroom camera, to report on this debacle, on this travesty that is about to take <laughs> about to take place. I do feel sorry for the worker. Okay, all right, so poor old Daryl. Daryl and his chainsaw. Look at this, this buildable camera is a fantastic little build. Okay, so Peter's here putting him in just basically broke that egg, so not great. If we put the, if we put Daryl over here, maybe, I don't know, that all looks very, very unsafe. Anyway, so very nice tree build. Bag number two is the one that Aaliyah actually comes in and she's here. She's, there was actually an extra microphone at the end of bag one. So we're going to give that to her so that she can interview Peter. Look at that. Arr, it does bug me that I can't give Peter anything to hold though. All right. So the whole name of this is a newsroom van. So that's what we have for the rest of the build. And if you've been here ever before, you know how much I love building vehicles, which I don't. I mean, I don't hate building them, but I just find them quite tedious because they're always the same but it's interesting once you get to the inside and if I were <laughs> a better builder I'd probably find the outside interesting too but I never choose to build vehicles off my own bat so <laughs> we'll just we'll oh, I don't even know what I'm saying we will spoosh speed spoosh we'll speed swoosh through the build <laughs> through the actual the actual vehicle part of the build but we'll pay attention to the details as we go along so I don't know whether it's the back or the number plate but we've got yeah, we've got a little indicator that it's a newsroom van on there, on the backity fronty part. We'll find out whether it's the front or the back as we continue. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the ve the vehicle itself. It's really, really nice and got beautiful round contoured edges. Lots of interesting build techniques going on here just to pop it together. But I just don't pay enough attention to them. This is going to be the front. This is, yeah, this is the front control drivey section. So you can tell the flu has taken my ability to actually word, it made it even worse. All right, we're up to the next bad, the next bad bag, the bad, bad bag bag. Okay, so very front. Yeah, this is the front now. This is the front guys, the front of the front of the van. And this goes on here. It is an electrical van, like all of the vehicles currently in the Lego Friends universe are. So this, yeah, round it over here. I'm trying to think, oh, okay. So this is, the back's going to be interesting. Very interesting, actually. So we've got this, which is like your backdrop for the actual newsroom show. And it's got a picture of the community center as its highlight there. Very nice. Uh, this is going to be one of our big spinny opening. No, it doesn't spin. It just slides open. So hinge it hinges open <laughs> hingey openy wall door things and we've got a couple of monitors or a footage coming through from two different places so we've got stephanie mayor stephanie opening the community center and we've also got Elia here with peter reporting from the endangered owl tree very nice and this is a 
a light, I suppose, maybe? Don't know. We'll find out as more goes on. This is the outside with some outward facing studs. So we're going to be sticking something onto that end yet. So that hinges on here and that is able to be completely opened. Let's try out whether we can actually fit our people in the front. I think I might be missing some bits in the front drivey area. <laughs> it seems a bit bare at the moment. This is going to be the other side, the other opening wall. So this has got the, ah, the editing station going on. We've got some B-roll happening there. That's so good. That's so detailed. You can see exactly what's happening. So that's showing the footage from two cameras, which is interesting because at the moment we have one camera. Very, that's very cool. Okay, so I think that, I think Aaliyah is actually filming in here or actually reporting from inside the back of the van because that news bit with the Heart Lake City Community Center is the backdrop. Yeah, this is very interesting. It's very cool. Oh, and the community center itself has got its whole reporting floor as well, which is where Zach was... I should pay attention to what I'm actually building, but that was where Zach's actually interviewing Mayor Stephanie. All right, so I thought it was a podcast room, but no, it'll be the newsroom. Also, absolutely love these news stickers on either side. They're just filled with all sorts of really fun characters. Okay, so this is their portable news Van, newsroom van. So good. Oh, I'm so slow on the uptake. <laughs> Bag number four. Let's find out what we're doing now. So we have got what looks to be a little chair. So this is, oh, she doesn't have to stand. So she can sit here to report. Oh, cute. Look at how much detail has been packed into such a small space. I'm loving this so much. Okay. All right. So we've got a... Oh, this is like a picnic table. No, of course not. So this is her actual reporting desk. So she's got a microphone there and her iPhone, which she can be reading off. Very, very nice. Look at how detailed that is. Okay, all right. So surely we can't fit anything else in inside there. So working on the outside, because we've still got some exposed studs. Obviously, they're going to have things popped on them. We've got our brake lights on. And that little hook over there is for the walkie-talkie. And then on the top, are, there's another hook there. Another hook, maybe for a ladder to get up to the top. Why would you want to get up to the top, though? What point would you have for getting up to the top of the newsroom van? I don't know. We'll keep building and find out. So this goes at the back here. And they're the Holdiani bar things. This is like a satellite dish for the very top up here to help with their, that's what the hook's for, for help helping with the broadcasting. And then working back again in the front, in the drivey part of the, of the newsroom van. This is like a joystick and a, I don't know, there's the drivey bit. Let's go. This is a steering wheel, which I'm deliberately putting on as a right-hand drive because that's what we have here in Australia. I mean, it's too easy. All I have to do is just swap what goes on one side and what goes on the other side. And this is going to be the lid of the drivey part, which is definitely the technical name for this section. So this has also got, it's got a little spinny bit up here. This is cool. <gasps> this is the second camera. Oh, this is so smart. So you saw how in the editing in the editing room that, well, on the editing video-y bit thing, like you got, you got footage from two cameras. So this is where they're getting the second footage from. Oh, and you don't even need like anyone to control it. You can just press go and have both cameras running at the same time. I can't get this on. There we go. I just needed to put the windscreens forward where they were supposed to be. Wheels are going on. And now we have got a fully functioning Oh, that's so good. In fact, the amount of angles and the extension we can get from that camera, pretty impressive. We can move it around to any sort of... That's so good. Look at that. I'm recording you right now through the <laughs> magic of the internet. I'm not. I can't do that. It's not possible. All right. So let's get Aaliyah out and let's get her set up here. Oh, I just love the versatility of having two cameras. I love this so much. There's so much excellent, thoughtful detail in here. All right. I take, I, I eat my words on not liking vehicles. I think this vehicle is exceptional. I think the fact, well, it's all the details on the vehicle and the actual thoughtful details and useful details on the vehicle that make it so, so interesting and cool. All right, we'll pop Peter. Oh, I've broken the egg. <laughs> I can't be trusted with these wobbly branches. Okay, let's get everybody set up because this is the end of the build. So much storytelling that can happen here. We can take this newsroom van anywhere because it is ready to roll quite literally, like with the wheels and with the video cameras. 
and we're ready to report the news. I love Aaliyah's new determined face. I love all the options here. I love Daryl's. Daryl's what have I got myself into face. Oh my gosh, great set. Okay, I really enjoyed building this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and check back in because there will be more videos coming up really, really soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.